all are safe and sound at your homes. Today I am gonna do a triptych dashboard in one go. As you can see, I have these three canvases. These are artist loft 12 by 4 inches in dimension. I have prepared my canvases by duct taping them at the back and applied four push pins at the corners. I have sprayed some water in the back of the canvas to make them stiff. Let me introduce you my colors. These are my three main colors. The first one is Liquidex Light Blue Permanente which goes for this canvas. And the second one is Liquidex Brilliant Yellow Green. And the third one is Deco Art Coral Blush. These acrylic paints are mixed with float roll in the ratio 1 is to 2. This is an 8 inch ounces squeezy bottle. As you can see it's marked from 1 ounces to 8 ounces. These markings help me to measure my paints and float roll. I first pour 4 ounces of float roll up till here and then I add 2 ounces of paint. It's like it will be like total of 6 ounces. Then I shake the bottle very well until I get a uniform mix. I have stored these bottles for months and they are good. Before use I give it a good shake to the bottle and they are ready to use. There may be some clumps of float roll form so I remove it with a popsicle stick. Later I pour these colors in the cups and add a little distilled water to get to the desired consistency. The water reacts with silicon and helps to create the beautiful cells. For the Dutch bow, I have selected a darker color for each of our primary colors. This is Blix Deep Violet for Light Blue Permanent. This is Blix Aqua Green for the Bright Yellow Green. And this one is Blix Cadmium Red Deep Hue for Coral Blush. I will also be adding a little of titanium white and a little of royal gold. Of course, all these colors will go together on these canvases. I will first pour on the canvases our primary colors and give them a nice base coat and then pour these three colors and followed by this titanium white and royal gold a little bit and then again I will pour our primary colors and use the hair dryer to blow them off. So let's begin the fun. Here I am pouring our primary colors to each canvas. The best part about fluid art is pouring the colors. I love how the colors flow, it's very mesmerizing. I am using a popsicle stick to spread the paint on the canvas. Making sure to cover the borders. I am carefully bringing the canvases close to each other. Popping up air bubbles with a blowtorch. Make sure to use it at a distance and not burn the paint.
I am adding a drop of 3 in 1 silicone oil to each of my Dutch pour colors and giving a good stir. Now I am pouring my first Dutch pour color deep violet in one streak on all the canvases at the center. On top of it bright aqua green. You can see clearly I am pouring the colors in a wavy fashion so that they fan out equally on top and bottom of the canvas when I blow them. This is cadmium red deep hue. Titanium white in a straight line. It's just a little white. And finally our royal gold. The deep violet is hidden below. I want bright colors to lift against the pastel colors. So I am adding a little deep violet. Now a bulk of specific primary colors on the top. A final touch of titanium white. I am blowing the paints with a hair dryer and making sure to fan them out from the midmost area. Now turn for the lower side. I am again using blow torch to eliminate any fresh air bubbles. It also helps to create the cells. Here there is a cluster of colors with no cells. I want to blow more to create some cells here. After a couple of hours when the paint was dry, I have added these Darius silver colored glass chips as a streak across the canvases. I have added them at the midpoint where the bright colors fan out and they stick very well. The paint is dry now after two days and it's okay to touch. You can see the borders are well covered with the paint and how beautiful they look. I will be coating them with clear epoxy resin after four to five weeks and update you guys on this piece. Here is the close-up. You can see how the cells form here a gorgeous pattern. Overall, I love how these bright colors stand out against the pastel colors. I love this royal gold in between. All these canvases look so beautiful together. I have sand here on the canvases with the silver color marker. This is matching the glass chips. Thank you all for your lovely comments on my previous videos and let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Hit thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe for more calming art videos. Stay home guys, stay safe and see you soon. Take care. Bye.